I used to do these videos like all the time and I wasn't really finding much to do a video about until recently. So I went over to do a shop with me at Dollar Tree and I found a couple of things that I thought would be worth doing a Dollar Tree toy test. And that's where I take some of the Dollar Tree finds, test them to see if they're worth your dollar. So in this video, I have quite a few. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from The Purple Alphabet. I just went to the Dollar Tree and I did a whole shop with me video. And while I was there, I happened to find some things that I thought would be perfect for a Dollar Tree toy test. I have a whole playlist of these Dollar Tree toy tests, which I've done before in the past. And a lot of the things in those videos are still at Dollar Tree today. So if there's something you're kind of wondering about, chances are I did a video about it, especially if it's been a Dollar Tree for a while. The stuff that I have now are kind of new items that I haven't tested yet. And I'm really curious to see how they hold up in the toy test. The Dollar Tree shop with me has already been posted. So after you watch this video, you can go back and watch that one to see what is in stores currently. But for today, we're gonna get started with testing some toys. First off are the new color forms. I was really excited to see these because I know these would be great for travel and activity kits, but I wanted to know how they would hold up. So the one I have is the Toy Story 3 color form set. They had a ton of these. And so you can find a different variety or something that your kids really like. So let's try this out and see how it does. I was really Really excited to see these because to be honest with you guys I used to have color forms when I was a little girl and I um, kind of loved them I was really happy to see that they had something new so I'm curious although the sets that I had when I was a kid I remember them being far more like a box like more robust so let's see this says it's one set in here we have 41 color forms and one double-sided a board which would be great for restaurant kits right guys so here's our play board and this is nice it's a really thick cardstock and oh cool so oh fun okay so we got like on this side we have the full carnival scene that we see in the movie and it takes up the whole card and then on this one you have two different scenes you have the classroom for when we meet Forky and then on the other side it looks like it's part of the carnival or the back side of the carnival if you remember what scene this is in the movie let me know in the comments <laughs> three play scenes actually and then here are our color forms and so there's one two three sheets and it looks like we have all the main characters and plus a little bit of i guess little doodads that you could add on to it so i want to see yeah this is just like just like i remember and they peel off and they're not stickers but they kind of have that that sensation to them because they stick right to the board if you haven't done color forms before i just wanted to explain kind of what they are so see they stick on but then they peel off and you can put them other places on the board. What's really cool about this is that you can have imaginative play with all the characters. You can play on this side, you can move them around. Got really tiny pieces though. So this is definitely gonna be something that you want for a child that's okay with tiny pieces and it doesn't get lost. A little tip that I remember when I was a little kid is that sometimes these were kind of lose their stick. And if you just moisten the back with like a baby wipe and just let it kind of dry and clean it off a little bit, um, it worked a lot better. I think what you can do is if you're not using them, you could use the sticker sheet and put them back on there because they'll stick right to it. Or you can just keep them on here to use and play. I definitely think this is a great restaurant kit activity. If you get all the different sets, I think you could spend like what, $5 or $6 for all sets and you can switch them out and look how flat that's gonna lay and you can take that with you, airplane, cars, traveling. This one, you guys, I definitely would say is gonna be a big thumbs up because of how portable it is, how great quality it is and it has the popular characters on it too thumbs up next up are the top locks brick stickers now I've bought these before and I've told you about them before we have a couple sets already but I never put them in a toy test so I thought they'd be a perfect time to show you how they work and if they're worth it the one we're trying out today is the zombies one and I'm very curious to check these out again it says we have one sheet of stickers it doesn't say how many oh yeah 47 pieces and these are supposed to be reusable as well this theme is zombie theme and it might not look like much right on the surface but they are just stickers that you put on your lego bricks or your generic bricks so i got some here and we're gonna try them out i think that's cool is that it has these little costumes that you could use on the minifigures and then the other ones are just kind of like if you were to have like a zombie apocalypse there's a house and then there's all kinds of things you can decorate with let's just try i want to try this ghost i like that it has the minifigure head faces too so you can change the expressions on your minifigures i'm just gonna put it on here for sake of example i mean 
mean, it's not perfect. I used two bricks because that's just what I grabbed out of my kids' stuff. And it sticks on just like a sticker, so that works. And then now my question is, is it gonna come off? I'm glad I don't have nails going on for this video so I can try and peel this off real quickly. Okay, so it is like a normal sticker, how a sticker would peel off. And so I did get a little bit of kind of messing up there in the corner. Where do I put this when I don't know where to put it after I take it off? I'm not sure, but then I can put it back on and flatten it out and it does very well. So I would definitely say they are restickable. I don't know how many times restickable and I don't know how they're gonna do after some time. So maybe if I left this on here for a couple weeks and went back to it, is it still gonna be able to come off? If you have experience in this, let me know. I definitely think that these work like they're supposed to. The price is a dollar. So you get all of these stickers and you can switch out your minifigures and do all kinds of custom scenery. They had so many other different patterns. They had, you know, like a beauty one. They had like a, um, a community worker one with some firemen and things like that. So lots of different variety. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is a thumbs up you guys because you can switch things up many times and these work and they're repositionable and I like all the themes. You only get 47 stickers, but that's actually quite a bit. So we're gonna go thumbs up with this one. And if anyone knows how they do over time, you can let me know down in the comments and, and tell everybody that they didn't work or they did work. I've done some videos before in the past about storytelling and I'm constantly talking about how great storytelling activities are with your kids to really spark the imagination. When I found this at Dollar Tree from Crayola, it's the Create a Story Dice. I was a little bit skeptical because I figured it was just paper. So I wanted to try it out, see if it was worth it. It says there are six dice in here, each with a different item on each side. So you're supposed to color it and create a dice. I don't know, we'll see how it works. Okay, this is for ages five and up. There's six dice in here. We have, um, it says one die, or six die cut dice, four mini sticker sheets, and six creative writing sheets. What? I don't think I knew that was in there. Oh, cool. Okay, so here on the back of the packaging, it has a whole set of instructions and how to use it and some like learning ideas right here too. That's pretty cool. It's recommending to color first with your Crayola crayons, of course, or markers, and then crease and fold along the lines to fold up and then glue. Once you're done, you can do stories. Here are the creative writing sheets. Oh. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is awesome. So you put the picture here, there's a space for the picture, and then you have some lined paper. Oh, and there's more back here that has the, um, right along, along the top here has the pictures. I'm wondering if those are the ones that are on the dice. And then you can write a story or you can do another picture. Oh, this is so clever. So you get six of those, but I don't see why you couldn't just make copies of them if you wanted to. So that's cool. And then here, Oh, here's the dice. So they are perforated for you to cut out and it looks like each one has a different picture on it. Check this out. All kinds of different things. So you could use one die, you can use multiple. This looks really decent. Okay, so these are put on like kind of like a poster board paper. Wait, what was this down here? Stickers. Okay, so how do we use the stickers? Just read in the instructions that you can use the stickers as reward stickers. So you get some stickers in here too. So let's see how well these fold up. I'm not gonna color them because I think you guys don't need to see me. <laughs> don't need to see me coloring them for demonstration. Oh, there's more stickers. There's a lot of stickers in here. That's four sheets. Bravo, this is a deal. So we're gonna punch this out. You'd have your kids color or you'd color whatnot. And that's what we have left. And then we just start folding and then there's little words on here that say glue. And so that tells you where you should put the glue to help it all hold together. So I'm not gonna do the glue part just because we're trying to go a little bit fast here. Dun, 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 dun. If I'm not already playing music, let's just bump it up a bit while I get this going. So this is what it would look like. I haven't glued it. That's gonna turn out really well after you glue it and I can definitely see you using this. Now the size of this is probably a little bit bigger than I would like. Uh, the story dice that I have are quite smaller like the size of an actual die. But considering that you can make these as part of a project and that there's six of them to use and you get a lot in here for $1, this you guys, this is a steal. I think this is a definite thumbs up, hands down. Love it and I think your kids will like this too and if you need ideas on how to use this I have a whole video about storytelling go watch that for inspiration and then go get this at Dollar Tree this is great love it and brand new to me in our craft section were these Crayola 
felt and stitch kits. What? Are you kidding me? These are really expensive in the brand name store. I found two, a cupcake and a pizza. I thought we'd put them to the test to see if they are worth it. These would be great gifts too if they are worth it. So let's see how they do. Next we have these felt activity kits, which can be a little bit pricey at the craft stores, but I was really happy to see them because I think that these little crafts shouldn't cost too much. It says that we have 26 felt pieces each one. This one has 18. This one has 26. This one has a little bit less. A lacing string. This one has three tissue papers and a lacing tool. Let me show you what you get inside of these little guys. Oh, there we go. Do we have instructions? Oh, we do have a full set of instructions here in two languages. <laughs> so we have our cupcake. Here is tissue paper. So I guess this gets crumbled up inside. Usually you have like a batting. So it's tissue paper, but I guess that just keeps their cost down. I guess you could use batting instead. Here are our cupcake pieces. So these are the ones that we lace together. Each one has holes in it. And then we have, these are adhesive pieces to put on the outside. We have a cherry and we have little, there's little dots inside here that you peel out for these parts of the cupcake, the sprinkles. And then the lace. Do I have a lacing tool? I do, it's hidden underneath here. Here is our little thread, our needle that we use to do the lacing. So that's the cupcake one. And then let's try the felt pizza. All right, very similar. We have the instructions on the back and then we have our tissue paper for stuffing and inside our tissue paper is a threading needle. There we go, there's the needle right there. We have our two pieces for our pizza and then we have our pizza sauce, our cheese for each side. Um, what are those, bell peppers probably? That they're in there, you just have to punch them out and then our pepperonis that you punch out and our string. All right, so what I'm gonna do is give these to the kids. They have the day off from school when I'm filming this, so let's see what they think. I'd have to say that I do wish we didn't have the tissue paper filling. It would have been nice to have just a little bit of batting to go inside of here, but all in all, it is a great activity, especially if you're working the fine motor muscles with doing the lacing activities. You get all the pieces you need and the felt is actually a decent quality for a dollar. So I think overall that this is a win. Thumbs up. The entire video is thumbs up, which hasn't really happened in quite a while. If you've had some experience that is different than mine, then I definitely need to know about it because everybody kind of does have a different experience with these things. Leave it down below so others can read what you have to say about these items. If you love them, you hate them, if they're not worth a dollar or if they are worth a dollar. Click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.